one of the things that we learned about algae along the way is that it's kind of the Swiss Army knife of uh, the biological world. You can use it to make fuels, you can use it to make vaccines. The one that we work in, Chlamydomotus reinhardi, it's very, very common, but what we're able to do with it at Triton is very uncommon to use it to make uh, these high value proteins. These are proteins that occur in the colostrum of all mammals from mice to blue whales and humans in between. Colostrum is known to benefit infants in a number of ways, specifically uh, immune development, uh, cognitive development, um, improved intestinal and digestive health. There's a, a strong market pull for those kinds of proteins, uh, specifically in the uh, sector of infant nutrition. All these companies that work in that space are interested in making their product more like uh, breast milk to satisfy consumer and you know, mom demand acro across the world, and it's a multi-billion dollar industry. But to date, there hasn't been an economically viable or scalable way of making these kinds of proteins outside of nature. The idea is, is that these would be, uh, would be an ingredient provider to these, these large companies that, uh, that take whatever other ingredients that are involved and incorporate that into their existing product. Uh, NSF has, has been tremendous. As a small company, uh, you know, getting off the ground, um, it's not just the uh, the financial resources that are provided. It's the, the broader uh, sort of holistic education that you get and the exposure to different kinds of market and business uh, uh, elements that I mean, you really can't find any, any place else, especially for a small company that maybe hasn't been in this kind of space before.